Darth Skywalker. I was reading that Taika um, Watiti was talking about directing the new Star Wars show, The Mandalorian, and he was saying that this show is, is going to feel a lot like the original trilogy and not too much of his own humor. My question is, why get a guy like uh, Taika Wat- Watiti if you're going to let him be, if you're not going to let him be Taika Watiti? All right, yeah, so basically what's happening, so we all know that Taika Waititi is going to be directing at least one, maybe a couple of uh, the Mandalorian episodes. He's already at work on it and all that kind of stuff. And he was asked about, you know, the feel of it. And here's what he specifically said, just so we have it in context here. So Taika Waititi specifically said, Star Wars is very different to Marvel style. They know that uh, the tone of the first films really should be kind of adhered to. That's what the fans like, and you can't disrespect it, I guess. It's a nicer way of saying, uh, I can't put in too many jokes. There's a bit of, there's a bit definitely my tone in there, the dialogue and stuff like that. So basically what Taiko Tews came out and said, hey guys, number one, this is going to have the tone of the original Star Wars franchise. Number two, um, I'm not going to just make it all humor and jokes, right. but it's still definitely going to have my DNA. I think that's the absolute right way something like The Mandalorian should go. But going to the question is, if you're going to have a director like Taika Waititi on, why not let him be Taika Waititi? Well, remember, a director is like an actor. A director shouldn't be one note. Sure. They shouldn't, like, if, if all Taika Waititi can do is what we do in the shadows, if that's all he can do, he's going to have a pretty short career. If that's all he can do. So what you want him to be able to do is to come to something that has a specific tone and bring a little bit of his thumbprint to it. That's the idea. I mean, that's what Spielberg does. That's what Scorsese does. I mean, you get these great directors who can make different types of movies, but definitely have their DNA in there. And I think that's what Taika Waititi is saying he's bringing. So I think that's a win-win. Personally, the original Star Wars tone, win, with a little bit of Taika Waititi DNA in there with it, win. So to me, it's just a win-win. Yeah, I I think so too. And to me, what's... Taika Waititi is really good at is is characters. Yes, his characters are so he knows how to how to set a scene and tell us about a character with one line of dialogue, and and it doesn't just have to be funny. You know, he can apply that into the Star Wars universe, and if if he can bring what he brought in Ragnarok or what we do in the Shadows or or Hunt for the Wilder People, uh, we're in for a treat because that's I think that's what we love Star Wars because the characters. I mean, Han Solo, Luke, Ben. Leia, Chewie, when we met these Jar Jar? Jar, no. no. <laughs> when we met those characters, I mean, they were so, right out of the gate, we love these characters. And that's what he's really good at. He's making you, and he makes you love fantastical characters. If you can believe mm. a rock man who's cracking jokes, if you can find the humanity in that rock man immediately, and he brought that, he brought that humanity, he's perfect for the Star Wars universe. And by the way, Piss off ghost is one of the funniest lines of any movie of the past three or four years. Yeah, it is. Piss off ghost. I love that. Yes, I I think this is a win. I think this is a win all the way around.